Supervisor Gail Steele, Island Lake County, thank you for your time. Supervisor Steele, what's your position on what happened in the, in the incident and in the elected officials' response to, to date? You know? Well, I mean, my, my response is that the whole thing is sort of unconscionable as to how it's been handled, and I don't understand it. I'd like to have some questions answered. Hmm. Uh, obviously, everybody saw what happened. What I was interested in seeing is what is the normal process time that an equal kind of thing takes to do an investigation. And I would also like to know what does that mean? What do you have to do? Who do you have to interview? And why by now couldn't that have been done? And uh, I feel like, it's, I realize today's only 11th and it feels like two months ago. For, um, it hasn't been that long, but the lack of really straightforward answers mm -hmm. as to what we should expect when something like this happens hasn't been forthcoming. And then that leads to this terrible unrest in the community with the frustrations that go back many, many years. Well, you said questions. What kind of questions would you like to see answered? Well, I want to know what, what do they have to do? To, what is taking so long? What exactly is taking so long? What does it take to do an investigation? Don't just tell me we have to, it'll take two weeks. Why? Because you're going to interview 30 people? Uh, what is it exactly that you have to do to come up with something that is, you feel confidence in your what you're doing? I mean, normally with tragedies, there's very conflicting information. You don't, then it's really clear you don't know. Mm -hmm. But the whole world saw it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yes. whole world saw it. Yes. So what is the conflicting information? I'd like someone to explain it to me, not to tell me anything that, you, that jeopardizes the case. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. explain to me what I don't understand about this investigation. That's your question. That's my my thing. What do you think about? Did Jerry Brown make a difference? I really well, think it will. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm very glad that he's offered to do that. I I would like to think Orloff will do everything in his possibility to move it along. I've had I have faith that he will. But right now you have this unrest, which is also not okay because it just doesn't solve anything. Right. It really doesn't. You hurt people who had nothing to do with this whole thing. And what we need to learn to do is go back to protest in the way of... I, I'll give you an example. I just went to see, you know, the Harvey Milk yes. thing and yeah. watched the, you know, this was the documentary. Now, I saw both now. But the whole world came together and lit candles and, right. wa and marked right. too patiently. That's what we need to do. It's the Gandhi way of protesting, mm -hmm. not smashing things, not breaking things. Because Which is, what, I think that what they wanted, but it's somebody got involved uh, along the way. I guess I was told that it went ugly by a splinter group or something like well, that. Well, it probably is because it, what that does is it gives permission for people who really don't care. Right to act like they do care, mm -hmm. and they don't care. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the people, you know, it's the, the, it's certain kind of leaders who, I mean, the NAACP that went to see Jerry Brown and talk to them and to get his support. Mm -hmm. And I think it's not a matter of pressure so much as a matter of an urgency to get understand what is going on and why it should take so long. I think everybody can understand that, but when you just say it takes two weeks, why? Why? And where the hell is this guy? And how does he get away from not making any statement to anybody? What is that? We resigned from the force and now we don't have any responsibility? Don't get that one. Bart spokesman told me if that's the way the law is written. He said the law needs to be changed, or at least he said that seems to be the... Uh, well, I think the law... I didn't... I realized that they said that's the law, but then I think the law does need to be changed. You can't do things like that. We don't want to ever see that again. How do people contact you if they have a my or tip I am totally yeah. contactable. My na my phone number is in the phone book. All mm -hmm. you have to do is call the Board of Supervisors. Mm -hmm. I'm there all the time. I'm totally available. And your Everybody. last name is spelled S-T-E-E-L-E. -E. Yep. yep. And my phone number is 272-6692. We'll be coming back to you as this progresses. Thank you. Okay. We were talking off camera, Supervisor Steele, about what you thought of the committee, and you made some very profound comments. Go ahead. Well, I, I just think that we have a very broken system. And I don't think just if this officer is arrested, which I think he should be, 
it's going to solve anything because the system is deep with bad things happening to people who can't have good representation. The system is abusive of poor people and they don't want to hear. And it is abuse. It doesn't want to hear about children's needs. I'm going to hold a public hearing very shortly on the CPS and court mediators and court appointed attorneys. I've had it because it, I guess it may be one thing when there's a trial, but when there's just a court appointed 